uh, kind of, uh, you hear uh, the esteemed uh, <laughs> uh, gentleman who hung out with your father in classes. Yes. Uh, he's young at heart, uh, but he's also trying to put this back on track. Yes. Uh, you came out of the shadows, if you would, yes. into a visible yeah. role. Yes. What do you see this party's, uh, what do you see? You already said that these were some people who, when I was trying to do what I did, they, they listened to me, yes. they were open-minded. Yes. They, like, yes. what, what does this party stand for in your mind? And where do you think this whole party will stand for in a new generation? Because you know, there's a, you, you represent a new generation. Yes. There's a whole bunch of young yes. people who are here and yeah. in Holland. And quite frankly, interestingly enough, the people in Curacao and Aruba, St. Martin, and others who are now looking to Bonaire yeah. as a place to make their future. Yeah. What does this party stand for? What does it, what does well, it well, look we, to you like? We stand here today because we, what we stand for is a Bonaire yeah. that is closer to Holland and um, yeah. where all visions of the island are respected, where we translate economic growth to everyone, instead of just seeing what's happening on the island. We, we stand for the, the Bonaire, the, 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 the people that make this place their home. And not just the Bonaires born here, of course, but also the Bonaires who choose to make their, this place their home, who choose to make this place where uh, they raise their family. Because it's something, it's very, it's, I respect anybody who takes the plunge and decides to move from uh, right. Holland or the States to come here, live here, establish here. Or Latin America, we have the second largest population now exactly. that we have is uh, exactly. Latin Americans, yes. even more than European Dutch. Yes. So we, we're here for them because they deserve the voice, they deserve to benefit as much as everyone else. So we stand for a, a patriotic um, island where everybody is equal just the same as the citizens in Holland as well. And like Ramosita said, um, we need leaders to point out the direction uh, which we started. And we see derailment, <laughs> literally. And uh, we stand for balance. That's what we stand for. Balance between uh, everyone, but not just in economics, in nature, in, in, in public transport, um, and everything you can imagine. That's why we are uh, fuerte de balanza. That's a force um, um, strong and in balance. Bonaire is in the position to be one of the most successful and strongest islands in the Caribbean because we have something that nobody has. And that's that direct tie with Holland, one of the most powerful countries uh, in the world, one of the most social countries in the world. Where With the European Union. Yes. The so EU. Access to Brussels? Yes. So. And uh, we, Ramosito, we, you shake your head because you saw this and you see that how much of this has not been used. Not yeah. nothing, nothing. nothing. We talked about it uh, uh, in terms of finance, our position in Latin America, so, so close to Latin America, and we don't use the financial guarantees. And, and we, I, I, I'm glad I saw the debate yesterday because one of the parties also mentioned one of my biggest problems is that the, the guarantee that we have for 10,000 and all, and it's, but we'll fight that as well. But um, yeah, so. Um, we, we stand for that, we stand for balance, and we see a disbalancing of power, disbalancing of economy, we see how can you, that's why we ask for the majority as well, is because how can you have everybody in the same direction while other people, most of, 60% of the island is under the poverty um, um, line, and how can you get them to think about Bonaire's future when they're worrying about but the they also future. Yes. There was a lot of people who it's are not... And where in Holland do you see a, a, a Gemeente where this is happening? Like, like, like the roads are here. We live in a third world country. Roads, I mean, it's, it's terrible. So, no. Huh? Fourth world. Yes. A new yes. definition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, let's go into some specifics. 